It was, uh, I heard Mr. Neely Fuller use the term care unit. And I thought that that was pretty interesting because um, he explained that in the system of racism, white supremacy, uh, and according to counter-racist logic, you know, uh, black people couldn't have families. And I thought that really strange and odd. But, uh, you know, once I dove into it a little bit more and tried to uh, examine, well, not try, but I examined the evidence of what Mr. Nelly Fuller was saying, and I found it to be true. You know, um, if you are considered non-white in this uh, system of racism, white supremacy, you definitely do not have a family. And so that's when... um, I really started using the term care unit towards my um, attempted family here here in Baltimore. And what I found is that um, a lot of people first didn't agree and didn't like to be considered or referred to as being part of a care unit, you know. But after they examined it and looked at the evidence like I did, you know, they understood and, and said, wow, I, I, I guess we are a care unit, you know. And a care unit is simply a group of individuals that uh, may be blood-related or not, but uh, care about each other. And they uh, together have discussions on how to counter and or eliminate racism, white supremacy. And so that's the main purpose of um, a care unit is to lessen confusion about the current condition that we're in. And first, recognizing this so that we can change it or correct it, you know. But um, that that's what my main purpose of a care unit is for and that's what actually made me start branching off to different um um care unit members that i have in different states and all that is is uh different individuals that i know and uh we keep in touch and have discussions about countering and eliminating racism white supremacy and you know just just sharing uh, what racism is and how it works.